The United Nations has set August 19 each year as World Humanitarian Day. World Humanitarian Day is a day dedicated to humanitarian activities and stakeholders worldwide, as well as to increase public understanding of humanitarian assistance and activities. It is also a day to honor humanitarian workers who have lost their lives in the course of their duty. Nigeria is also facing many challenges, including natural and man-made disasters, especially the insecurity in the northeastern part of the country, as well as flooding in many parts of the country, which brings about the need for humanitarian service and assistance. A total number of people affected by disaster has risen over the past few years. Women and children are especially worse affected. Speaking at the event in commemoration of World Humanitarian Day, the Director General of National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, Mr. Sani Sidi, who said there is need for proper education of the public on humanitarian assistance. Uh, I must say that uh, uh, disasters, be it natural and man-made, are on the increase. And the capacity, the, the capacity uh, to handle uh, response is diminishing, but the capacity to handle and the resources is dwindling. Therefore, we must call all uh, stakeholders to scale up their activities to inspire humanity. Uh, therefore, the team of this year, Inspiring Humanity, is apt. The resident coordinator, United Nations in Nigeria, Mr. Dauda Toure, urge government at all levels to ensure public awareness, adding that providing jobs for the unemployed youth will help in curtailing the problem of insecurity in the country. That there are potential, particularly in the agriculture sector, that just can be developed, and then the youth then will have more hope, and the youth will not be idle, ready for recruitment by anybody. I think that is the, the, the multi-pronged approach that we've been talking about. Do security, but also invest in development so that you give hope to the population, so that the population that has stake into their future can be the first line of defense. On the issue of the recent flood alert, the NEMA DG and the Director General of National Orientation Agency said they are collaborating with state governments to ensure safe communities. Well, well uh, flooding is another matter altogether. Uh, very recently, uh, the National Emergency Management Agency received a report that uh, Cameroonian Authority are about to do the routine release of water from Lagdo Dam. And that information has since been conveyed to, to our major stakeholders, the people at risk, the governors, the frontline governors who should take action. Therefore, all I will say is uh, early uh, warning must be matched with early actions. State governments particularly, that um, award lands or issue lands to people along water path or water areas, so they should stop. Uh, it's part of the contributory factor to the flooding that we experience in this country. The representative of Chief of Defense Staff said the Nigerian military are ready to end insurgency in the stipulated time given by the president. The theme of this year's Humanitarian Day is inspiring the world's humanity. Al Hassan Bala, ITV News, Abuja.